Hey guys, Paradoxio here. Welcome back to a brand new video, everybody. This is episode 9 of our Building a Discord Bot in Python 2024 edition. And in this episode, we are going to be making ourselves our very first application commands, or otherwise known as slash commands, for our Discord bots. Now, if you don't know what a slash command is, it's basically the new way of creating commands for Discord bots, where all you have to do is just type in slash in a chat, and then you get this little menu come up. And uh, Discord has some built-in slash commands, but uh, basically all the bots would appear here, and you'd click on one, and then you'll get a list of all their supported uh, app commands. So uh, that's how we can uh, do slash commands, but first, uh, before we get started, we need to open up our browser and go to our Discord developer portal. Uh, because I want to show you something that's going to be pretty important for uh, making slash commands. So when you go to your dev portal here, uh, to your applications page, go ahead and click on your bot and then go to the bot tab. And then down here, make sure all three of these intents, these privileged gateway intents, are toggled on. Uh, I'm not sure when or which of these uh, actually have anything to do with your slash commands, but from my understanding, when you are making slash commands, you want to make sure all of these are on, so that way they all work properly. Uh, so just go ahead and be sure that all three of these are turned on. And uh, whenever you go back to Visual Studio's code, make sure uh that your intents are set to all by using the discord.intents.all uh, method <clears throat> excuse me and uh after that we can go ahead and start making our slash commands first things first though we got to do something uh to actually get them to sync in all the servers that our bots are in uh something pretty cool with slash commands is uh, your bot can make certain servers have their own uh, specific commands. So if your bot is in two different servers, one server might have uh, a specific set of slash commands while the other server will have something completely different. That is something really cool you can do with slash commands, but we're not going to really do that in uh, today's episode because it's not really all that practical unless your bot is just only going to be in your server and nobody else's. So if you have like a private Discord bot that your community uses, that might be something you can do. However, uh, this series is meant uh, to mainly be in the context of just making a Discord bot that everyone can invite to their server and use. But uh, without that, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started here. So in our bot on ready event, we're going to go ahead and make a try and accept block. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable and we're going to call it sync commands. And we're going to set it equal to await bot.tree.sync. And in here, I'm going to go ahead and print an F string sync. And then inside the curly braces, lin synced commands and then uh just commands like this in the actual st uh string that way whenever we print this out or start our bot it's gonna say synced uh blank commands like three commands five commands ten commands uh you get the point uh for our exception block uh we are just going to type in accept exception as e and uh, in here we're gonna go ahead and print an error with syncing, if I can spell, application commands has occurred. Put a little colon there just to make it look nice. And then we're gonna put E. And basically what this is gonna do is whenever we try to sync our slash commands after we just made a new one, um, it's going to print out this error message if there is anything wrong with any of our slash commands. Whether uh, actually making them, like if we made a mistake in how it's supposed to be made and such. Because we have to make our slash commands in a very specific way, by the way. Uh, so this error here is just basically meant to show us if we did anything wrong. Or if uh, we were being rate limited or making too many API requests all at once. And speaking of that, you can get rate limited with making application commands. 
So if you're constantly changing the name or description of your slash command or the permissions, anything to do with uh, basically what the command's gonna look like on the client side, uh, you can basically rack up your API requests and cause yourself and your bot to be rate limited, which can last up to just a few hours to even a full day, which is gonna be very inconvenient when as you're developing your bot. So be careful uh, whenever you are syncing your commands. It really, what you should do, you should make a command that uh, checks if the user ID of the author right, uh, using that command is your own. And if it is, then you would just go ahead and do this uh, entire thing here. Just go ahead and sync them all. Uh, that way it's a command that only you, the bot owner, can use. But having it in your on ready function is okay. But it's more preferred to make a command for syncing them as well. But uh, anyways, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and try to make our very first slash command. So in here, we're going to go ahead and type in at bot. And you may remember that it, before it was dot command. But today, it's going to be dot tree dot command. In here, we can pass the name in. And we can just type in hello. And uh, something worth mentioning with these slash commands is uh, they have to be in snake case naming convention. So you can't have capital H hello or any capital letters at all. Uh, and you can't have spaces in them either. So for any space, you have to have a underscore and then follow it uh, by the next preceding word of the name. So make sure you name all your slash commands in snake case uh, naming convention. And uh, for description, that rule doesn't apply. You can have capital letters and spaces. Uh, for here, we can just say says hello back to the person who ran the command and uh this has to be under 100 characters so don't make your descriptions too crazy long but after that we can go ahead and type in a sync def and we can call this hello and in here we're gonna pass in something called an interaction before we would pass in ctx which would be discord dot or uh, commands dot context but no for application or slash commands, we need to use interaction because what we're doing when we uh, call a slash command, uh, we are basically creating an instance in that particular server uh, just for ourselves. And that's going to be stored in here in this parameter. So after that, uh, we can go ahead and just send a message back to the person who says hello. And uh, to do that, instead of await ctx.send, it's now going to be await interaction.response.send underscore message. And uh, in here, we're going to put in an F string. And we're going to ping the user. And to do that, we're going to type in interaction.user.mention. Hello there. And that's it. So we can go ahead and try to run this and see if there's any errors with how we have written our slash command. Synced one command. Sweet. All right. So we have no errors with how we've written that. Now we can go back to our bot and see if it loaded up, in which it didn't. So we're going to go ahead and reload Discord. Uh, same thing if you were on a browser, you might have to reload Discord. My internet would load it. Alright, let's go ahead and just try to open it up again. Perfect. Let's go back to our test server. And woohoo! Our slash command by YTBot is now uh, loaded in. We can just type in slash hello. And as you can see, it responds with at paradoxical hello there. Uh, something really neat is you can add an ephemeral. Uh, which if I go back to here uh, in our interaction dot response, I send message. We can add a comma and type in ephemeral 
And if we send that, set that to true and reload our program. Sweet. We reload it. It's now going to say only you can see this. Uh, this is really good if you're making like any error handling uh, for your commands. Uh, you can have it send a message saying that only you can see this. Uh, that's because we have ephemeral set to true, and it just basically makes that a private message. So, uh, let's go ahead and uh, trash that. And let's go to our cog. Because I want to show you guys how we can make a slash command within a cog. And I'm going to turn that off real quick. So, making slash commands in a cog isn't too difficult. Uh, basically, what we need to do is, up here, we need to type in... Excuse that notification on my phone. What we need to do is we need to type in uh, from Discord import app commands. And um, basically that's going to allow us to make our slash commands in our cog. So what we need to do is we need in here where it says commands.command, we need to change it to app commands.command. And in here we can give it our name, which also needs to follow snake case convention. Uh, this one's just going to be level, and then description is going to be sends the level card for a give, given user. And this is where we're going to change a lot of things, specifically the use of CTX. So we're going to go ahead and change that to, whoops, if it'll let me, go ahead and change that to interaction. Discord.interaction. There we go. And we're going to change these here as well. So, uh, where it says member is equal to ctx.author, that's going to be interaction.user. And in here, where it says ctx, it's just going to be interaction. So we have interaction.guild.id. And in here, we just need to change these to await interaction dot response dot send message and that's basically it uh that's all we needed to change to actually make this a slash command so now i can go back to my main.py run this code and instead of one command sync we should see two yep synced two commands wonderful so let's go ahead and quit discord so we can reload the application Wonderful. And now we should have level. Yep. So let's go ahead and try that. And as you can see, it works just like as our old prefix command dot level has. So level statistics for PDOX dot hog, level three, 485 XP, 800 to level up. Uh, we could also just do this to, um, Oh yeah, so whenever our, whenever our uh, command has parameters, so like member, role, um, etc., uh, it's going to show it up here as options. Uh, if our code has it set to where uh, it can be equal to none, or it can be equal to a default uh, parameter, uh, it's going to come up as options i believe if it if i didn't have it set to none it could come up as something like required and whatnot but we can go ahead and add a member in here and when we click that it's going to give us an option and we can type in uh this person here which is actually my alt and as you can see it's going to say it doesn't currently have a level but uh you get the point so that's how our slash commands work, and that's basically it for this video. Uh, all we did was just make two slash commands, uh, a brand new one, and then for our cog, we just converted our prefix command to a slash command. Uh, keep in mind, try to update all your slash commands in bulk before testing, otherwise you will hit that rate limit and it's going to cause some issues for you and your bot. Uh, but other than that, this has been really easy, and uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video and would like to see more just like it, be sure to hit that subscribe button, join my Discord server, and create your free House of Code account on houseofcode.xyz today. And uh, also leave a comment telling me what you would like to see next time, 
And uh, yeah, again, be sure to join my Discord server, subscribe, and I will see you all next time.